Good morning, everybody. Grandpa Adler Farms. Hey, I know that is not the sunrise you normally see, but I thought it still looked pretty cool with the clouds. I haven't been able to get you one here for a couple of weeks because we generally had rain on the day that I do that. But I wanted to get that in there and I hope you, hope you enjoyed that. I'm standing out here looking at rows and rows of corn. See that? Corn stalks. This is what they've planted all out here in this uh, six, 700 acres, whatever it is, all the way around. That's all corn. I have to kind of be careful of where I step because you can see it comes way, way up here and it's even growing in that rocky soil. So it's pretty hardy stuff. Some of you may have never ever experienced this, but where you have a lot of deer, you know, at night the deer will lay down and they hide. And when I come out here, let me show you something. See how tall this grass here is? You get a shot of my feet. Bear with me, hang in there. See how tall that grass is? I take a step right over here. And this is all, see this is all matted down. That's where the deer, this area right here, they will lay here at night and then get up in the morning and, and uh, move around. You know, during the day, of course, they go in the woods and, and they lay down again. I know, I, I can't get enough of that. Hey, have you noticed anything about me this morning? No, this is not a rerun from winter. I did not skip six, seven, eight months ahead of time and throw this cap on because it's, uh, you know, winter time now. But it is the, almost the last week of May and we've had this cold front come through. It was probably 90 degrees three days ago. Then it started raining. This thing came through. It was 60 yesterday. It's like low 40s now. So y'all can say, Grandpa, why are you wearing that stocking cap? You know, listen, when you go from 90 to 40, I feel like I'm freezing. I feel like it's just winter time all over again out here. And you know, Grandpa, I gotta be warm. I gotta be warm. So I'll even, maybe I don't need this today, but my hands are a little cold and uh, you may not have needed it, but old Grandpa needs it. So welcome to all of our uh, Adler Farms family members. If you're new here, and you know you just watched a video or two just checking it out we really appreciate it all of you that have been with us for a long long time we we appreciate that too and you know that we've talked about that often your support that you give us and just just watching that's all we ask it's just me and grandma and a few animals having fun looking forward to getting retired here eventually one of these days we're working on that completely Give us more, hey, just trip, look out. And that's something else you'll see right there. You watch me long enough, I'll either trip and fall or do something that's uh, film worthy. We're gonna go down as we always do in our videos. We're gonna go check out the animals. Now, if you watched my last video, we got some new animals on the farm. Our little Cooney Coonies, they are adorable. And I know that we told the story of how they came and went and came back and quite remarkable. They're doing good now. But right now they're so small, you know, we're just going to keep them in a, confined to that little area for a little bit. Then we'll put them out in the, in the pasture. But we've got a plan for that too. So let's pick up and we'll go pet Smokey, feed the goats, chickens, see how they're all doing. Hi, girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. I know. Good puppy. You a pretty face. She's a great Pyrenees. She has that little bit, they call it a badger, a badger face. Uh, the way she's spotted around there, it's really cool. And then there's Batman. Oh, she's got the zoomies, there she goes, she took off. She got the zoomies. There goes Batman, he's afraid he's gonna miss something. Get down there and get to the trough. I'll be there in a second, big fella, hang on. Oh, look, looky here, uh oh. Hello there, hi, hi Bella, that's Bella. Oh, there's, uh, there's the other one. She's right there. See her nose sticking out. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. How are you doing? Yeah, rise and shine. Rise and shine. Okay. Good morning. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I know. Start to grunting already. Let's get to... Gr uh oh, a little squealing. Come here, Batman. Come on, buddy. Okay, come on. Let's go, guys. Good morning, chickens. 
How are you? Right, let's get in here and get your food. Goats are not patient. You are not patient. You know what? Hang on, Batman. Let's get this in there. Man, just like a vacuum cleaner. Oh, I hear the piggy pigs. They've already learned. Here we go. Come here, Batman. Come on, guys. Here. I think all of them in there now. They've all learned. This is how they do. Get over here in your bin. Come here. One, two. I'm cutting back on the grain a little bit because, and I'll tell you why, I have uh, been, hey, I got to move your big hiney. The reason is I'm cutting back on the grain some because I've been cutting uh, fescue grass for them across the, the, from the house and uh, they've been getting a lot of green grass. So we got to cut that back, the feedback a little bit because they're putting on the LBs. He getting, he's a big old boy. Okay, here go smoke. Hey, have you, what do you think about them pigs? What do you think about your piggy pigs that you're guarding now, huh? So Grandpa, thanks, that's all I needed. More animals to watch over. So I can't hardly do the ones I got. So them goats, between the goats and the chickens, they drive me crazy, Grandpa. Here we go, hang on a minute. One, let me get you, watch your head. I'll dump it on your head. I give Smokey a can of dog food in the morning. She's kind of picky, it can't be the chunky. It's gotta be the, what do they call it up? It's gotta be chopped. Okay, so she's good. <clears throat> They've already eaten their grain. Plus, or they're, they're on the process. One thing I do too, I will go over and take my uh, pole saw and I'll cut down trees and vines for the goats too, a couple of times a day. You know, they, they, get, they also get that, plenty of greens. Let's go, okay, I gotta go do Lola first because she's got the pig food out here in her area. I do have an extra bucket that I've got to bring over and put in the, in the little pigs in the Cooney Cooney pen because uh, I have to haul this back and forth. Miss Lola, you're looking good. That uh, jazzercise is working, huh? Here we go, right here we go. Here we go. And I have cut Miss Lola way, way back on her food. She has lost, she's lost, uh, I think she's lost weight, you know. Now, she, she goes back and forth. She'll sleep in the shed. She'll sleep in here. She has uh, three, uh, two homes, a winter home and a summer home. And so she kind of flies back and forth to each one. Depends on the, what she's in the mood for. Isn't that right, girl? Yeah, but when she's down there in the shed, I won't take the food down to her. I'll make her come here, uh, walk up here to, to uh, get it. So I think she's figured out, well, fine. I'll just stay up here in this one. I won't have to walk up. Ain't that right? All right. Okay, that's a girl. He's a good scratching. He's a good scratching. There we go, gonna lay down. But I think she's... I hope she's losing a little bit of weight. She has to, because I'm just not feeding her as much. Yeah, yeah, go out there and get some grain. Now that'll be enough for you till later. All right, oh sassy, what you doing? Yeah, good morning, good morning. You're waiting for grandpa to throw something down on the ground, aren't you? Can I come back in through that gate, huh? Can I come back in through there? Yeah, which way are you gonna go? I know, you're a pretty bird. She's here, she goes, take off, there we go. She's talking to me. Grandpa, where's my food? I don't have any corn out for them anymore. I dumped a whole bag of corn in, but they can't eat it fast enough. And the, uh, I, I looked the other day and it got, it was nasty on the bottom. It was starting to mildew and all that. You can't, you can't feed them that stuff. So I'm breaking them of the habit of corn. So I don't have to mess with that. And besides that, I don't give to the pigs anymore. Smoke, you done eating that, kiddo? You done eating that girl? Let's see. Oh, you cleaned it up. You cleaned her up nice. Yes, you did. Hey, I gotta go feed the piggy pigs. We'll, we'll have some smoky time here in a little bit. All right, hang in there. Now, here's one thing I've noticed about these girls. I gotta be careful, because they come here and they will force themselves out. Olivia, she went back in the house. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw this here. Okay, I gotta get away from, I gotta, I gotta get them away from that door. Here you go. Start on that. that hook. Here we go. Here we go, right here. Here's your pile. Reason I'm not putting it in a bowl, but they're not quite tall enough to, you know, put their chins over the side. So they, uh, they jump right in the middle of it. And uh, it's harder for them to eat like that. So I put it on the ground 
and they seem to do just fine, but they're the cutest. See how tiny they are? See how teeny tiny? And just think, they were out there wandering around for almost two days by themselves. I was so thankful they came back, you know, made it back. I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. God is good. So, I mean, I, you know, a lot of things to pray for, but yeah, you can pray for that too, the little stuff. He wants to know it all. So there they are. Okay, this is Olivia. This is Bella. Bella could be registered. Her daddy was registered. Uh, she also has a chip in her ear, which I activated. And so if, if for some reason they ever got out, you know, again, and, and I, mm, I don't even want to think about it. Somebody wanted to, they'd take them to a vet or whatever and have that chip read and they'd, they'd have my name and number. So that's pretty cool. I appreciate that about the uh, previous owner. We'll come back in here a little bit later on because they'll they like to be petted on their bellies and they'll roll over, but not while they're eating. Uh, I got them a little pool, but the, the problem is they poop in the pool. Oh, it's nasty in there. So I know that normally they have places, you know, they like, apparently this is their restroom right here because there's some pool over here. Uh, this area in the long, long run will not be big enough for them. I know that. It keeps them uh, safe and uh, it's big enough for them. They love getting back in there in that little dog house. There's plenty of hay in there, so they're they're doing uh, doing very very well. Come here, smoke. Here, just have your treat. Come here, honey. come here. Just get your treat. Come here. This is for her joint. She I just, usually she gets four. I I've been kind of just giving her three. I'm maybe uh, hopefully three three is enough. <laughs> kind of makes them last a little longer. And if, I, I guess if they're in her system, maybe that'll kind of keep it going. But there's the, there we go. That a girl. Here, you want a bone? Hey, look. Grandpa brings me treats, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta have my treats. There we go. You gotta sniff it first. Okay, she won't take it till I throw it on the ground, then she has to look at it a little bit. There we go. I know there's another bone in there. You want it too? All right, here. Oh, you're here. You are got quite the nose on you. I know, Grandpa spoils you. A peanut butter bone and a meat bone. Oh, Mags. What's up, buddy? Oh, Magneto. I can get a lot closer to him now than I used to. I, I can't touch him, but I can get within a few feet, even the girls. That's pretty, which is really cool to me. You know me, that's my challenge. Even sassy and gray, I can get pretty close to, like on the fence right there. There's gray. Now that's gray. That's gray right there. She's going to hop over because there's a sassy right there. So they're waiting on me. Oh, you got that. You, you got one of her bones. You little rascal. You did, oh man, they share. These two, I don't know if he thinks he's a dog or she thinks she's a goat and they're like interchangeable, you know? Ain't that something? She'll let uh, Batman eat whatever he wants. Let's go see the youngins. I like that name for them. It's easier than saying the young adults. I also have some news on the Robin, or the Robin, or our Cardinals. So let's, uh, let's get in here, let me get some water. I did while I was filling up the water. I got Smokey her egg. She's going to eat her egg. And then I got her hard dog food in there. Peekaboo. Peekaboo, pretty girl. Okay. She cracks her own eggs, by the way. In fact, if you crack them, she, she don't like it. I think she likes to crack them herself. What's up, buddy? What's up, Fox? Hey, man. How you doing this morning? You doing all right, Fox? Had a boy. Look at the color his ears are that of, because he's, he, he's got, the ear color is like what P-Dub <laughs> is all over. He just got the ears, because they're brothers. Yep, Nigerian dwarf brothers. Come here, I know, come here. Let's do scratch first, okay? Do some scratch. Yep. I don't do the wormy game with these folks, birds. They don't really know what it is. So we do, uh, we just do scratch and some, we will do wormies. They got. To, they, they will get the wormies. I know you get them. Hang on here. Here, you want some? Here we go. Come here. Come on. That a girl. That's a girl. There you go. Pretty birds. These three eating out of my right hand. Well, there's two now. All three look very much alike. That is so cool. Short stack. Come here, Bubba. And we used to be buddies. Just think, I put I I took care of you while you were in the hospital in my garage and you don't even and you don't even care. You don't even remember. They said y'all have good memories. I'm not so sure. Here, here we go. Okay. 
Hmm? Oh, brr, brr. listen to him. I didn't take chicken in school, I took French. Yeah, my name was Raoul in French. They called me Raoul. Yeah, quelle heure est-il maintenant? That means what time it is. Yeah, la plume means pen. Crayon, pencil, I think that's how that is. What's that song? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? I don't even know what that means. Maybe I shouldn't sing that. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? That's an old song, isn't it? Sing it with me. Sounds cool. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? J'aime tout means I love you. J'aime tout in French. How about that? Y'all didn't know I could speak French, did you? You don't care. Grandpa, shut up. Give me the wormies. Here we go. Here's what y'all been waiting for. Here we go. Stand back. Stand back. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, there it is. There's what we've been waiting for. Somebody sent us some more wormies too, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think we got more chicken dresses on the way. What else did we get? Some pretty cool stuff. Forgive me. My memory. I'll think about it. All right, here we go. Oh, you guys. Girls, girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. Here we go. Girls, girls, girls. How about this one? Standing on the corner, watching all the girls, watching all the girls go by. You know who sings that? You all know who sings that one? That's an oldie. Standing on the corner, watching all the girls, watching all the girls go by. Oh, very good. Okay, you're all, it's all good. Okay, listen, I got, I got other places to go. You care? Hmm? Can I go do it? Is there any eggs in there? Anybody in there think they're doing anything? Uh, Magneto. You don't like my singing? You better change the channel, partner, because I'm going to sing. Here he comes. There he is right there. Mags, what are you doing here? You want some of that? You better... Hey, Magneto, I got no problem with you. You want to come over here? Go around the other side. Watch him. He'll go around. Go to the other side, Magneto. You silly boy. I'll be, you better get that quick. All right, I got to get. I got to get going. Guess what, Grandpa forgot? Water. Now, where do you dump water when there's already water on water? Oh, hang on. Let's do this. Oh, if that spills on me, that's okay. I got my boots on. Watch out, girls. Let's do it out the backside here, because that way to stay out of your pen. Get ready, here it goes. Okay, there we go, there's one. See, they don't have worms under there, that's weird. There's no worms under there. Let's get rid of this one. Hey, coming at you. And then they go over there, that old nasty water. Watch out, Mags. Coming at you, Bubba. Mags says, what did I do? Throw that dirty old nasty stuff out on me. Don't throw that on me. Okay. Now the floor in here, when it gets wet, it stays wet for a long time. So the last two days, I went over, we had a bit much of hay left, and I have uh, I put hay after hay, so they're not in the mud. They're not in the mud, they're walking on the hay. It's a little, thank you Mags. It's not, uh, they're not getting their feet muddy walking on a little hay there's some fresh water so yeah that's a good thing even though here you me sloshing a little bit now they don't need any of this food right here let's get that out of there okay let's eat that down girls and we'll get some fresh all right later on everybody happy in here hmm everybody happy these little stinkers they eat really slow they're still working on that food listen to them grunting you got the little baby grunts they are so cute now, Y'all want a bird update? I think, folks, last night I came down here and the little bird, the one in the, the little, the, you know, we had this bird's nest up here, Cardinals. I'm not sure. I see an egg laying outside, but that one really never had a chance because she never sat on it. Can you see that? I still can't see it. I'll have to watch it back. I just watched that back. I think from the get go, the two way out of the two way. Hang on a second. I gotta talk to him. Hey, dude. I'm, we're trying to do a little video here, okay? I know you are the man. I get it. Go ahead, I'll get you on camera doing it. That's what you want. You want the spotlight. Atta boy, there we go. That is Magneto. 
Magneto gets what he wants. All right, back to the Cardinals. She hatched one. I showed, I showed that on Magneto. I showed that on video. I came out, and, and the thin little poor little thing hardly had it. Didn't have any feathers or nothing. Man, like three days later, it's got feathers. It's setting up in the nest. She's still on it. Uh, I came out last night. I actually put, this is what I, I was going to put something over the top of it if she'd have stayed in it. I put this uh, plastic, you can see a black plastic, uh, it's like chicken wire underneath because I was afraid that the little bird would fall out and fall down in here, you know, and the, I don't think these birds would probably let it survive. So I did that. When I did that, it jumps up on top of the nest. Mama's right here. That little bird starts hopping all over this place, almost ready to fly. And I swear mama was calling it. So it gets over here. It was over there on the far side, standing. I think I've got a little video of it I may show on Instagram, Facebook. It was standing over here. Mama went in and sat on this egg right here. All right, so she called it. Now this morning, they're gone. There's no evidence in there. I think that bird, I think she took her little bird and went bye-bye, I really do. And this other egg she sat on, it was probably never going to hatch inside. It would have already done it. So I think Mama Bird and Mama Cardinal, baby, I think they've moved on. They uh, did what they had to do, and now they're, uh, now they're gone because there's no evidence this morning, you know. It's pretty incredible. It's really cool to kind of watch that. didn't take long. Hey, it's time for the worm game. Come on, let's go. Foghorn, are you with me? Sing it with me. He's got the beat. <laughs> Grandma sees that and it just makes her crazy. Grandpa, you're so silly. All right, you guys ready? Let's 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 turn this one over. Here we go. Get ready. Oh my word. Look at the worms under here, kids. Come here, look. Get them. Get them. Get the worms. Come on. Who's playing the worm game? Look at that. Oh, that is a borgish mord right there. Get him. Clean house. Now this one here, guys, is the one that had the dress on. We'll talk about that here in just a second. I'm not gonna, oh boy, that's a, spend a lot of time on it, but wow, they got them. Let's go from here, ready, set, go. Oh yeah, there's one or two, not too many under there. They know what to do. Oh yeah, you got the worm game down. How about under the log? Come here, is there any under there? Yeah, looky there. There's one or two, there you go. A bunch of ants. They don't do ants. Not like that. All right, here we go. Let's put this back down. Okay, thanks for playing. You cleaned house. Good job. Let's put this back over here and we'll have some more tonight. We'll get some more this afternoon. How's that, okay? All right, now let's eat. Okay. Woo! Good job, kids. It's not as muddy in here. It's not standing water. This runs through here. It's just, it's, it's wet, but it's not horrible on them you know so i don't put a i put hay down there at the end all right here we go let's let's get you going i know here you go girl you want some foghorn i tell you what that old boy i throw some down there for the teagles that old boy he waits to be hand fed there ain't no two ways about it now he does it on purpose see that he wants to be hand fed man you're rotten you're spoiled yeah, we'll put her up here. Yeah, now this is Little Red right here. She's pretty tall. She can get up there. There's some of them that can. They can, but he loves to be hand fed. If y'all get chickens, I highly recommend feeding them by hand. It's just, it, it's just pretty fun. It's interesting. I can feel uh, Foghorn's, what's that on the bottom there? The thing that, that uh, his beard or whatever you call it, that's a turkey. I don't know what that, that the, 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 boy, he's got a magnificent comb too there in the, you can feel it on your fingers. It feels kind of, kind of strange. You guys want some wormies? Let's do wormies. Come here. Let's do the. Let's do the other wormies. I know you're ready. Look. Look at here. Look at that. You ready? Set. Go. Get them out there. Up oh, this way. Yep. Well, it's like a herd of turtles. Here we go. Some for the turkeys. Okay. Some for the ninjas. Oh, man. All right, so 
here we go let's get foghorn up here hooked up some of y'all said that as far as the dresses go if any kind of any protection is needed it would be if it's like if it's a wound an open wound you know you recommend the dresses other than that you might want to just let it go so that they can have a chance to breathe and heal I just don't know, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's the turkeys or if it's still, if it's foghorn. You know, I do know that, uh, like you said too, if there is an open place, other chickens will pick at it. But I don't know if I'm going to try to put some more dresses on them or not, you know, but it's definitely some of them are getting picked on. Somebody said, well, if they molt, you know, they could, they, that, that, that will help if they would molt. Maybe those feathers grow back then. They're, they're okay. Nobody's, you know, got any big wounds I don't think to, to worry about but uh, it just it just looks it, don't, it just looks bad I know I can definitely see where I may have to put some dresses on three or four of them and I'll just do what I got to do to keep it from getting worse but every day I'll like them I like 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 uh, all of them I'll, I'll go out and pick some greens for them and bring in some uh, some of that tall fescue that's really gone to seed so they they'll get plenty I'll do that this afternoon I do that every day make sure they're they get the full rounded diet. Okay, that's enough wormies. Y'all had enough. You're good. And they get scratch and they get the egg layer food. So trust me, they all get to eat very well. There's an egg laying over there. Hang on a minute. That's not even a turkey egg. Who laid that egg out there? Hey, leave this alone now. Let's go see. I'll get them water here in a second. I want to go check. Who did that? Now see, here's the deal. That egg's laying there. I don't know how long, but they, they didn't eat it. You know, they certainly haven't cracked it open. It's morning. There shouldn't be any eggs. Oh my goodness, there's three right there. I better, I better take them. Is there any in there? I don't really count. I don't bring anything. No, there's none in there. I don't bring my egg print or anything in the morning to get eggs. Is there any in there? No? Oh, turkey, turkey. I'll give this to smoke. Oops, sorry. That was dark, wasn't it? That's my bad. Turkey egg up there. Yeah. Ooh, somebody said the other day, hey, clean that chicken poop off those houses in, in both places. Well, I do clean it off, but what do birds do? What do chickens do? They poop all the time. They get back up there and poop on it. I clean it up every day and afternoon, and looks like I don't, but I do. You know, if you ever had a chicken coop, you know what the chickens do. You do the best you can. All right, let's, uh, let's do water, fresh water. Oh, I got, that's nasty. Ooh, look at that. Guess what? What do you do when your hands are dirty? You, uh, yep, you wipe them on your pants. That's what we do. There we go. Oh, boy. Okay. Woo! Nice. Hey, you know what? I gotta get you fresh water, too, don't I? Hang on. I gotta get you some fresh water. Watch your head. Oh, honey. Dump it right on your head. Dump it right on your noggin. Just a little bit. Let's rinse it out. Let's rinse it out a little. Hang on a minute. I know. Hang on. Hang on. You're fine. Hang on. Oh, just a minute. That's water, not food. Stinker. Oh, quit. There, just fresh water. That's my faint thumb you're chewing on, senorita. There you go. Get you a drink. Is that good? Is that good water? Is that good? You want your belly rubbed? Come here, you want a belly rub? Oh, I'll have to clean out the thing here a little bit. Come here, you want your belly rub? You want a belly rub? Oh, come here. I know. And they say that what you want to do is you don't want to come in. Oh, you knock my thing over. Only when they're hungry. Because then they think every time you come in, it's time to eat. So... What I'm trying to do is come in after they fed, and then I'll pet them and just kind of hang out with them. They're so cute. Yeah, they're so cute. Still got a few little ticks to get off there from their little walkabout. Yeah. See, we're working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Does that feel good? Grandpa's going to change your swimming pool water out. You poo pooed in it. You poo pooed in it. Yep. Okay, that a girl. Oh, that's pretty girl. This is Bella. Olivia. 
Does that feel good? Yeah, normally they'll lay down and here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Belly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Grandpa. Hear him grunting. Does that feel good? Does that feel good? You want to be pet under your chin? Oh, that feels good. Miss Olivia, she's just a grunting. Bella, you're going to go night-night. I'm going to take a morning nap. All right, listen, Grandpa got to get going. I'll come this afternoon. We'll clean this out. Clean out your, clean your cage out. Is that how can we do that? It's not a cage. How about your pen? Let's call it your pen. It's not a cage. Clean this out. How's that? All right. Okay. Okay. Olivia. Miss Olivia. All right. Bella, I'll see you. See you in a little bit. Okay, you guys. Grandpa's going to go. All right, I'm going to go eat breakfast. Y'all been fed, Mr. Fox, Pennyworth, a.k.a. P-Dub. This is Lucius Fox. These are Batman's friends and, uh, and uh, confidants here. Batman, you be a good boy. Okay, Grandpa will be back. Smoke, hold down the fort, girlfriend. You hold her down. Everybody's fed and calm. All right, very good. Thank you for helping me with chores this morning. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna go in and get some breakfast. Later on, me and Grandma will, uh, if, it, if it warms up enough, no promises, trying to meet you on the front porch. May still have my stocking cap on and a heavy coat, but we'll see if we can't do a little rock and talk. See you after a while. We are, we are not on the porch again. <laughs> uh, you know, I told them early on, it was 40 some degrees out there. I got my stocking cap on. Here it is the last week of May. I've got a jacket on in here. Listen, I'm, you know, if it wasn't just for, <laughs> They all think I'm, you know, Mr. Grandpa Nice Guy, but I'm here to tell you right now, I went out there and heard it was 44, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 degrees. <laughs> Woo! I was fit to be tied. I thought so you guys be So how much coffee have you had this morning? Well, I told them 12 ounces. I fessed up, but I, you know what it is. I yeah. had all that French toast with syrup in it. All that sugar. It's all that sugar. I'm, yeah. I'm sugared up. That's what it is. But yeah, the weather, you got to be kidding me, you know? <laughs> I, I, if so, anything makes grandpa grumpy, it's cold weather. It's cold. It's the cold weather, it especially is. after you've had the 80s, 90s. You're walking out there, you got your hat on, you're wearing your short sleeve shirt, and your cut off breeches, and my word. So thank you, Lord, for the rain. A lot of people need it, but I know I'm griping. God just sits up there. When God's here, you know what he does? He just sits there and he shakes his head. I, I know. know he does. I know. You know, he's, I brought your pigs back. Yep. You know, I do all this for you. And, and, you then, still and, and you gripe, and you know, a lot of the places need rain so bad, and here you are griping, young man. You know, we have our regular videos, and, but, but I do, and Grandma edits those. I film, she does all the editing. I do, anybody out there on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, I do those, and then I edit them myself and put the music and so forth. And if you're wanting, the, the separation is this. Those Instagram, TikTok, Facebook videos, are things that I film not during a regular video filming that you see on Wednesdays and Sundays. So those will be little added extras that if I'm out there feeding the animals, of course I take my camera with me and one of them does something cute or, or not cute or whatever you want to talk, call it, uh, like the cardinal thing, you know, uh, I will film that. So if you're not on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, and you don't want to be, I understand it, but if you want to see little added extras, Grandpa Vadler Farms, you know, get on one of those uh, social media things. You don't have to comment. You just, you know, or anything like that. Just, just, just watch them. They're just 30. Real. They're just a reel. They're called reels. And they're only 30 seconds long, maybe, you know, something like that. A lot of, lot of, lot of you follow other people that are on there too, but uh, we're on there. Uh, look, at, look it up, Grandpa Vadler Farms. Cooney Coonies are doing great by the time you see this video. The last one showed the whole, the whole story. I did not go to the post office box this week because somebody said that there's supposed to be something coming in first part of the week. And uh, so I was gonna kind of, you know, give it a day or two, then I'll, then I'll go. All right, love you guys. Thank you again for watching us. Comments, I'm still trying to be diligent getting to the comments on all platforms of social media. 
That was pretty good for me. You hear that? That is. Platforms of social media. From a guy who, what, 15 years ago or so, said I would never send a text message. Are you still typing with one thumb? Oh, yeah, one thumb. I remember I type with one thumb. I'm not the like that. It's all one thumb. And I said I'd never send a text message. I said, if you want to communicate with me, you better call me. Well, that was a big old lie. <laughs> Man, I've changed. What's wrong with me? Oh, no, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't changed. No, you haven't. All right. Until next time, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Love y'all.